Now let's see a few more examples on conditional probability. Let us assume that, see this question, a family has two children. If one of them is known to be a boy, then what is the probability that both are boys? Okay, so now it is again a conditional probability uh, question. So how do you identify that whether it is a conditional probability question or not? So they will use the terms like this, you know, it is known that or given that or, you know, uh, what is the conditional probability? So they will use such terms. So using the question, you can identify whether it is a question on conditional probability or not. So clearly it is a conditional probability. So now there are uh, a, a, a family is having two children. We don't know uh, who, who they are, but then it is given that one of them is suddenly boys, right? One of them is suddenly a boy. Then what is the probability that both of them are boys? So first of all, let's frame the question from the initial terms. So initially, uh, initial sample space, space is this. Both can be boys or one can be boy, other can be girl. First one can be boy, second one can be girl or first one can be girl, second one can be boy or both can be girls. So these are the probabilities, right? When you have two children. Okay, these are the, this is the actual sample space without applying the condition or without applying our knowledge. Now, all these are equally likely, right? So what is the initial probability for each of the event? For each of the event, it is going to be one by four, one by four, one by four, one by four, right? Because one event divided by four events, four elements. And now, now it is given that one of them is boy. So if one of them is boy, then just rearrange the probabilities, right? Just change the probabilities and see what happens. If one of them is boy, then the probability for this event, both of them girls is zero. And the probability for this event has to be something greater than zero, something greater than zero because they are all possible because one of them is boy. Now, how many events are there? Three events as the initial initial events they were all equally likely or they were all equally probable now the, the these three are also equally likely therefore i'll distribute the probability equally between them one by three one by three one by three whatever it is after assigning the probabilities just see that sum of all probabilities of the sample space is one isn't it okay now they are asking about the event what is the probability that both are boys so after changing the probabilities what is the probability of the event bb this one which is nothing but 1 by 3 you can directly do it like that or by using the probability of a uh, conditional probability formula okay without using the conditional probability formula if you are directly going to answer it why did i teach it you might answer you might get that question right but later it is going to play a very important role now even though i am not using it later i'll use it so let us say e is an event that at least one of the children is boy so then e will contain bb bg gp right and f is the event that both are boys right now i want probability of f given e which is nothing but probability of f intersection e divided by probability of e now what about f intersection e f intersection e will contain only one element which is bb now what is the original probability just look at this one this assignment not this one okay so when you are using this uh, this formula just look at the original assignment which is nothing but bb right which is 1 by 4 upon what about this one probability of e probability of e is nothing but three events are there so it is 3 by 4 isn't it we had to add these three 3 by 4 so which is nothing but 1 by 3 or it or even you can take this one and then you can add 
we, you know you can divide it by this so in this is the new sample space they are asking about this event which is nothing but 1 by 3 either that way also you can get it got this so uh, you can uh, you can follow any of these methods but I am just I just want you to learn this one more later we are going to use it a lot okay Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India I'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of one lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old IITs so all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5% and IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40% but all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5% and if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join game of visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 Okay, thank you.